It's more sophisticated, yet less complicated. It can store vast amounts of yesterday, or tell you what's in store for tomorrow. It can draw a picture, or it can draw conclusions. It's a personal computer from Apple, and it's as easy to use as this. Macintosh, the computer for the rest of us. The power to learn, to communicate, to imagine, to create. The power to be your best. We've been talking it over and we agree that on the basis of the work, it's easily the best presentation we've seen. We'd like to award you the account, but frankly, there's a problem. What's that? You agreed to keep this assignment confidential. I don't understand. Obviously, you've brought in freelance artists, typesetters. You might as well hold a press conference. Now, hold on, hold on. All the work we've shown you was done by the people in this room on a computer. What computer puts out work like this? Hire us and we'll tell you. Introducing the first portable computer you already know how to use. Excuse me. It's my computer. I seem to be having trouble. I know nothing about computers. I'm sorry. I don't know anything about computers either. You are about to witness a revolution called PowerBook. It will let you run MS-DOS software. It will let you run Macintosh software. It will let you run away. If you imagine an object that is a television, that's a radio, that's a computer, wh whatever computer means. You imagine an object that um, has an incredible sound system. You imagine all of those functionalities, all of those technologies, you imagine them converging into one object. What should that object be? What on earth should it look like? Presenting three easy steps to the internet. Step one. Plug in. Step two, get connected. Step three, <laughs> there's no step three. There's no step three. <laughs>